hello and welcome everyone today we're going to be looking at how to write an abstract so in that we'll see what is an abstract features of an abstract and components of an abstract so if you are an undergrad students or post graduation student or doing phds or submitting the research papers or research proposals at some point you have to write an abstract so what is an abstract an abstract is a concise summary of your entire article, research paper, project report, or thesis. An abstract is available for the reader. So when you write your project report or research paper, research article, even thesis, so those project reports or thesis, they are available for the reader. And the very first thing that reader come across is the abstract. And based on this abstract, reader will decide whether they want to read rest of the paper or report or not. So it's very important that your abstract must hold the interest of the reader. Abstract reflects all the major sections of your report. There are different sections in the project report or thesis like introduction, literature survey, methodology, result and discussion, and finally the conclusion. So your abstract must reflect all the major sections of your report. Abstract must be concise, which means it must be to the point. Usually the word limit is around 250 to 300 words. So in those word limits, you have to include all the major sections of your report. While writing the abstract, you need to include the key information in limited words only. Abstract is a standalone document, means reader can understand your abstract without any supporting information. And usually the abstract is written at last components of an abstract the first component is introduction in the introduction you must write what is the motivation behind this research work or project which means you try to answer these two questions why this project and how will it create an impact once you complete this project second component is a problem statement or objectives so while writing the problem statement or figuring out what will be the objectives of your research work first you need to find the research gap so what is the problem the existing researchers are not able to solve and in the objectives what are you going to do in this project or research work to overcome those research gap third component is a procedure or approach in the methodology you will just mention the overview of the process the next component of an abstract is results and discussion so in results and discussion you will mention the results that help you in achieving your objectives. Usually results and discussion must connect with your objectives. And the final component is conclusion. In the conclusion, you will mention what are the different implications of the project or the research and how your research or project has added value in the existing research field. Use simple, clear and detailed language and keep the flow of your abstract narrative smooth so that the reader will have a clear understanding of your abstract. What are the don'ts? Do not use citations or references in the abstract. Do not use the complex terminologies and do not use excessive jargon. So this was all about how to write an abstract. Thank you everyone.